everybody welcome back to Alicia Loves Crafts and welcome to another video so today doo -doo -doo, I've got two diamond paintings to unbox I say unbox they came from Amazon I'm not gonna get on that massive but like these two things came in I'd say at least an A3 size box with loads of like paper Honestly, Amazon, I always get loads and loads and loads of packaging and it is a joke. So I've just simply took them out and they all are just in these white, white, they are not white, they are clear bags. So I kind of can see the images um, anyway, but I know what they are. <laughs> like, especially ordering off Amazon where you are ordering and they literally come the day after. I ordered these yesterday, the beauty of it. Why did I order them? Well, because I have got some paintings on the way from Diamond Art Club. They are still in transit. I think I ordered the first one on the 26th of December. So it's been like nearly a month. Um, and I just kind of wanted more diamond paintings. I'm nearly finished my other um, paintings. So yeah. Also, quick note. If anybody had watched my latest whipping chat i told you that the sunrise in the savannah one the one with the elephant i actually ran out of um color you which i think was like 3772 uh, and i ordered a bag off ebay because basically i would get in touch with them but when i ran out of another color before they took like over a month to come so i just ordered them off ebay they've came today they look perfect exactly what I wanted they actually look like they came from the same supplier um maybe somebody just ordered like loads of stock of them drills so yeah I'm absolutely fine with that but today we are not talking about that we are talking about these that I ordered from Amazon they are Disney paintings again um because why not I love 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 Disney um, especially Disney diamond paintings I think they're super duper cute so these are both Disney style I wonder if you can guess what they are so we'll start with a little one first so I wasn't expecting a actual 30 by 40 image if you would have seen my first Amazon unboxing I kind of thought oh my god this is titchy now I kind of expect it so just a side note, if you're ordering off Amazon and it says 30 by 40, that will be this, like this will be 30, like you can see on my quick up map, that is literally 30 centimetres. So it is bang on, 30. It feels very similar to be fair and looks the same as that castle that I got maybe I mean it wasn't from the same supplier as such because I ordered the other from Joy DIY on Amazon and if I just find my phone which I can't see so give me two seconds okay Wow, that's just stopping wobbling. Um, so, found my phone. So, this comes from a brand called Hi Zoop. Um, but it just feels very, very, very similar to the other canvas I got. Um, it feels they are they're not the best they they do feel very plastic the canvases like near that so yeah they aren't amazing however what do you expect um you know unless you're ordering from a really popular brand that do their own these usually come from china and um you know so you can't expect much so I'm just trying to get the creases out of this a little bit so you can just see 
what we've got going on um so what i tend to find is the colors down this side are just a little bit darker than actually what they are on the canvas but you can clearly make out the image can't you so it's it's lady in the tramp lady looks very cute she reminds me of my doggies because i've got two well actually i think lady's meant to be a cocker spaniel isn't she a minor cavalier king charles spaniels but her ears and everything are like exactly the same so super duper cute uh let me see if i can just find if i can just show you if you can just see guess whose battery died on their camera i need to buy a second one actually so i can just change it but yeah i don't have one um so you can just see there can't you the image very small but there you go it's meant to look like and that's kind of what you get off the canvas so you get a good idea of where you are at the drills are the same as last time but they don't have the dmc numbers on these but on the canvas they do indeed so what i do and you'll see it when i'm kitting up and when you've seen the disney castle being kitted up you'll have seen that um what i do is i still write the dmc numbers on the boxes that i'm putting them in the storage containers sorry if you don't like the sound of that so we've got 20 colors this time so a few more colors than the last one i got off amazon um not as exciting um as the Cuba Disney Castle because they were super um, vibrant, a lot of blues. These are darker. They're very much uh, resembling the elephant painting that I'm doing. Sunrise in the savannah. And there's no like green. So obviously this green that's in the background here isn't actually going to be green drills, is it? Because there wasn't any green there. But I think that's common. Um, because my entire canvas for that elephant one is green. So yeah. I'm going to have to do something with these drills and putting them away to make sure that I know that they're to this canvas because something's telling me these will be the same. So here's the kit. Very similar to the one I got last time. I've got one piece of wax. I've got some little baggies in it. I've got a green boat and a pink pen with a three placer. So that is that painting. I was about to end it then and then I realised I'd get another one to show you. So I'm not doing these on separate videos just because they're both on Amazon, they're both Disney. So you get the gist. Now this one's a bit bigger this time. This one is a 40 by 40. But what you're probably going to find it's actually only oh no yeah it's only like 35 so it takes like two and a half centimeters off this one feels a bit better actually the canvas to the other ones not quite as tacky and the drills still look similar but they have a different color text and this one's a lot less this little bag so you've got your um boat you've got your pen with no placer on it or no um tool like sometimes i have the the straightening tool and then a lot smaller that wax so a bit more scrimping and scraping on that but if it gives us a better canvas uh, then i'm all for it so wow this is quite big so it's more like a 35 by 35 so this is the biggest painting so far that I have got slash done. As you can see, it is of the Disney 
um, sleep, not sleeping beauty. Alicia, my brain is frazzled today. I've been revising. Um, it is the Beauty and the Beast Rose. And I've seen some of these paintings um, that people have got. And it's literally just the rose that you've got to do. I did check. I triple checked. I double checked. I quadruple checked that it was a full drill and not just a full kit. Because a full kit means that you get this and this. Full drill means the entire thing needs drills on it. And as you can see, all the way up here to down, all needs drills on it. So we've got 20 colours again. So the same amount of colours as the Lady in the Tramp. And I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of blues in this one. And I do quite like blue. And I like the fact that they do have a lot of blues. You get a very pretty gradient effect and shading and highlighting. So let's go through. Oh, some of these are just on their own. So there we've got a really pretty light blue and a white. Then a grey. We've got lots of this. This is a navy. Will we have any black? I didn't actually check on Lazy if there was any 310s. Oh, on Lady in the Tramp, we have 310s. I, they are my first 310s, believe it or not. This is my... So these two will be my fourth and fifth kits. And it's the first time I will be seeing 310s. Sure, it won't be my last because I'm ordering from diamond art club do these have three tens this kit does not so out of five kits only one that i've got has three tens but obviously you can see these are very very full with the blue here's our little reds and greens not a lot of them because it is just that little rose but plenty of blues and whites so that is probably going to look gorgeous I'll put the link down below for both of the kits. This kit, like I said, was a 40 by 40. But you can also get a 30 by 30. Now, when choosing, the best thing that I can say to you is obviously size does make the image look a bit different when it's done. But, I mean, I did look in the comments, so this is something, let me just do that first, so I'm not thinking. I did look in the comments at the pictures, and I do think that's something that you should always do on Amazon or on AliExpress, um, or on any other site, really, that you've never used before, fan cells, um, or anywhere where you're ordering from a different supplier, um, just to see what people have commented some put pictures on so you can see the finished product i had a look um i was wanting a little bit of a bigger painting it's still what i call a snack size but we're getting just a bit closer to you know your 50 by 40s yeah yeah then you can keep going up from there your 40 by 60s all that sort of jazz so um yeah i really did want to just go a little bit bigger and noticing the pictures there is a little bit of a change between how the picture looks on a 30 by 30 to how it looks on the 40 by 40 saying that it isn't so much of a big difference so if the fact that this is a 40 by 40 puts you off then go get the 30 by 30. you find in the comments on the reviews there was literally like two people buying the 40 by 40 and the rest 30 by 30 and they're still great reviews. So that would be my um, advice to you for today. I am starting to get a little bit, can you tell, a little bit more confident with my advice and things like that that I'm saying about um, paintings because I'm on lots of groups and I like to listen and, well, read. But I like to then listen to people on YouTube and I like to become more knowledgeable about 
my favourite hobby. So on that note, I would like to tell you guys, I have recently just set up a Facebook group, which is the Diamond Painting Support Group with Alicia Loves Crafts. So I've set this support group up because um, I don't think that you can ever have too many in the community. I love having all the different pages. Um, I think it's really lovely. And, you know, I've called it a support group because sometimes people just need a holding hand. Sometimes they just need a bit of advice. Sometimes they just want to, to show people what they've been working on so you know we want to keep it completely anti-bullying um you know be kind be courteous but also what stands my group out from the others is if you are a fellow youtuber so you're watching this you have your own youtube diamond painting channel and it should be diamond painting or have diamond painting on it because it is a diamond painting support group but if that is you then come join and we will happily let you share your content. So share your new releases. I put them on myself. So I will say when a new video is up, you can do the same. The only thing we do say is we are here to support each other. So if you're going to be posting your links, that's fine. Don't worry. Most groups don't allow it anyway because it's like self-promotion. As I say, I'm fine with that just as long as that you are then, you know, supporting other YouTubers. So if you're going to post your links, then you need to be basically watching other people's videos. You need to be liking, you need to be subscribing, you need to be showing support to them. So that is the rules um, if you are going to post. But like I said, I don't know any other groups that really allow posting your YouTube channels, but... The support group with alicia loves crafts does so if that's something that interests you or if you'd like to join the support group the link is in the description below it is also on the links in my channel description so head on over there just answer the quick questions which is just you know have you read the review uh, the rules and yeah that's it that's all it is so come and join us be part of our little community and until next time i will see you in the next video